Namaste, everyone, and welcome to the Anchor Light Friday edition, Emotional Healing. So before we start, let's ask for divine blessing, shall we? To the Divine Supreme God, Divine Father, Divine Mother, to all the spiritual elders, holy masters, saints, archangels, holy angels, and spiritual helpers, we thank you for divine light, divine love, guidance, help, healing, and divine protection. To my teacher, Master Chokok Sui, Mahagu Jumeng, thank you for the blessings, in full faith. So it is. All right. So yeah, my schedule got a little crazy, but I'm here. So we're going to do meditation twin hearts first. Again, the purpose of that is to activate the heart, the crown, bring lots of spiritual energy, and use that energy to go to all the chakras and flush out the negative thoughts and negative emotions. Okay? Now, <clears throat> so this morning we talk about the importance of balancing inner and outer purification. Um, just in case you were not there this morning, you know, oftentimes people have a tendency to focus a lot on outer purification, but not inner purification. As in, watching their diet, watching, you know, what they eat, what they drink. All those are good and wonderful because you need to keep the physical body healthy. However, it is also just as important to use the same focus on keeping the inner world clean because your inner world and outer world are interconnected whatever happens in the physical world first happens in the inner world that's why you know notice there are some people who watch everything they do they eat and you know everything is clean air purifier water purifier whatever purifier but you notice their life is still a mess because before anything happens physically it happens energetically so if your emotional body is going crazy your mental body is going crazy the, the chakras are, are not able to absorb fresh prana and all that heavy energy gets stuck, that's what you call a blockage. Make sense? And so if the chakras are blocked, well, if that particular chakra is feeding energy to your heart, feeding energy to your stomach, feeding energy to your bones, your muscles, then the physical body will be affected. Then the outer part where you're keeping everything clean, you know, uh, eating vegan and so on, so on, so on, that will be overcome by the disease energy that is blocking the flow of fresh life force. So ideally, you want to be clean energetically Externally as well as internally. All right? Now, externally, that's your job. My job, we do the internal cleansing. That's why we take the spiritual fire hose and clean everything out. And we do that through meditation. All right, let's do it. Ready? Take your left hand, tap your heart center. Take your right hand, tap your crown. Raise your hand like this. Visualize the earth in front of you. Now, before we that, let's affirm oneness so the energy is stronger, shall we? Put your hands on your heart. Be aware of your crown. I am that. I am. I'm not the body. I'm not the emotion. not the thoughts. I am the soul. I am a spiritual being of divine intelligence, divine love, and divine power. I am that. The soul, the spiritual self. Just be still. I am connected in one to my higher soul. I am connected in one to the divine spirit in me. I am a child of God. I am one with God. I am one with all. There is only oneness. Just be still. Leave your awareness way above your head. And just be still. Just make sure to turn off the notification so there's no disturbance. Just maintain your stillness and awareness. Imagine all of us are inside the big bright sun. Just say we are one. Now open your hands in blessing. If you, <clears throat> if you haven't already, visualize the earth in front of you. Say we are one. Be aware of your heart. Be aware of your hands. Flood the earth with beautiful pink light. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Wherever there's hatred anywhere in the world, let me sow love. Where there's injury, let me sow pardon and forgiveness. Where there's doubt, let me sow faith. Where there's despair, let me sow hope. Think of all the people you know going through difficult times right now. Bless them with a new hope and faith that life will get better. So be it. So be it. Where there's darkness, let me sow light. 
Darkness in spirituality is the absence of spiritual light, the absence of knowledge that one is a being of light. Bless every person, every being with spiritual light and realization that they are the soul of being a pure spiritual light. And where there is sadness, let me sow joy. Be aware of your heart and your hands. May every person, every being be blessed with peace, with love, with a spirit of forgiveness, with hope and faith, with light and lots of joy. So be it. So be it. And so it is. Now be aware of your heart. Take a deep breath. Lift the energy up to the crown and exhale. One more time, be aware of your heart. Take a deep breath. Go up to your crown, exhale. Just be still, allow the energy to keep flowing through you. Imagine golden light from your crown flowing through your hands to the earth. From the heart of God, may every person, every being on earth be blessed with love and kindness. That all be blessed with great joy and happiness, with understanding, harmony, and divine peace. Let all be blessed, so be it. Let all be blessed. So it is. Just be aware of your crown. Bless your family, your friends. Every person, every being with golden light. So be it. Just be still. Continue blessing the earth. <clears throat> now, be aware of your heart and your crown. Take a deep breath. Fill the earth with golden light. From the center of the heart of God, may every person, every being in the higher worlds, middle worlds, even the lower worlds, let every being in every dimension, every direction above and below be blessed with God's unconditional love and kindness. Let all be blessed with inner peace and inner healing. Let all be blessed with understanding, with harmony, goodwill, and the willingness to do good. May all be blessed. So be it. So be it. And so it is. Maintain your stillness and awareness. Just lower your hands on your lap, palms up. Keep your eyes closed. Keep your tongue on the roof of your mouth. Be still. Now imagine a beautiful golden flame floating above your head. Be aware of your heart. Send a stream of love from your heart up, up to the crown and into the beautiful golden light. And stay there. Om. 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 Allow your awareness just drift deeper into that golden light. Be still. And let go now.
Maintain your stillness. Maintain your awareness. The mantra Om Mani Padmi Hum has healing effect, has purification effect, especially in the emotions and the thoughts. So just be still, silently, just be aware of your inner stillness. Listen to the mantra Om Mani Padmi Hum and let the vibration permeate to every part of your body, loosening and releasing any negative emotions, negative thoughts, and any blockages within you, within your aura and your chakras. Just be receptive. Just imagine your entire body is hollow. You're under a waterfall of beautiful golden light. Om Mani Padme Hum Let the energy flow through every particle of your being. Om Mani Padme Hum Om Mani Padme Hum that the energy permeate to every particle of your being. Let that liquid light penetrate to your crown, your forehead, your ajna, your throat chakra, your front and back heart, front back solar plexus, liver, spleen, navel, sex, and basic chakras. Let it permeate through your entire body. Any lower frequencies, negative thoughts, and emotions, blockages are now being flushed out. Just be super receptive. Om Mani Padme Hum Om Mani Padme Hum Only if those negative energies disintegrate, extract, expel, so be it. Just be receptive. Om Mani Padme Hum. As we reset it, we'll increase the energy level. still and let go now Crown chakras being cleansed, your forehead chakras being cleansed, your ajna chakras being cleansed, your throat chakras being continuously cleansed, your front back heart chakras are gently being cleansed, 
Your front back solar plexus chakras are gently being cleansed. Your liver, your spleen chakras are being cleansed. Navel, sex, basic chakras are being cleansed. All negative cords are now cut and flushed out to the nearest salt water. Just be receptive. Let the energy flow through. Cut. Just be still. Let the energy keep working. Gently, very slowly, repeat after me. I completely, deeply, permanently accept all the divine healing energies. In full faith, so be it. I completely, deeply, permanently, gratefully accept all the divine healing energies. In full faith, so be it. Say it again. I completely... Deeply, permanently, gratefully accept all the divine blessings, divine healing energy on all levels. So be it. Thank you. I completely, deeply, permanently, gratefully accept, absorb, fully assimilate all the divine healing energies on all levels. So be it. Again, I completely, deeply, permanently, gratefully accept, absorb, fully assimilate all the divine healing energies, spiritually, mentally, Emotionally, etherically, and physically, in full faith, so be it. So be it. And so it is. Just be still. The stillness allows the energy to assimilate deeper. We thank you. Now open your hands in blessing. Visualize the earth in front of you. Be aware of your hands and your feet will release excess energy as well as do a deeper cleansing. Okay, because when you bless with all that spiritual energy, any lower frequencies are sitting on the edge of the aura. You just want to flush it out. Go. Let the entire earth be blessed with divine light, divine love, and divine power. Let our beloved Mother Earth be healed, regenerated, and revitalized. Blessings be to Mother Earth. May all beings be divinely blessed now. So be it. So be it. And so it is. Blessings be to all. Om. 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 Blessings be to all. Let's give thanks to the Divine Supreme God, Divine Father, Mother, thank you. To all the spiritual elders, holy masters, saints, archangels, holy angels, spiritual helpers, thank you for the blessings on all levels. Personally, to my teacher, Master Chokok Sui, Mahagu Jumeing, thank you. In full faith, so be it. All right. Today was focused a lot on healing. Hope you felt it. 
the, con the energy continues to work. So what we'll do is after we sign off, you get up and do some physical exercises to squirt out whatever old energies. Or if you like, just sit there after we're done, sit there for another five minutes or so. Just be still and you'll feel stuff draining out. Then get up and do exercises. All right. I know it's a short session. There's certain things I need to take care of, but we just kind of cranked up the energy level. So even though it's short, if you're sensitive, you feel like it's a wider pipeline. All right. We will see you Monday morning. And a lot of you are seeing tomorrow for the, what is it called? Ah, Inner Teachings of Christianity Revealed. And the ones who are going to be there tomorrow, uh, I would highly recommend you do exercise before because there's a lot of information and massive amount of spiritual energy. We're going to do at least four or five meditations and all of them are like cranked up. Well, I don't do anything less than that anyway. So, namaste everyone. You all take care and we will see you either tomorrow 